What is poppin' YouTube? Worst you here with another video on Avengers Endgame. So even though we've had trailer 2, there's still so much information coming out on a daily basis. Now, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. And now it is Mark. We are giving away an Infinity Gauntlet. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on and let me know down below what is your favorite moment of trailer two so we do have empire magazine coming out later this week on thursday now i know it comes out in england on thursday i'm not sure about the rest of the world but don't worry i will be doing a full breakdown of exactly what is said but there has been some brief quotes from empire magazine this week which is going to change the marvel cinematic universe forever so in an interview with Empire Magazine, Kevin Feige dropped the phrase The Infinity Saga to refer to the first 22 films or the first three phases of Marvel Cinematic Universe. This makes sense for a number of reasons. All these films are loosely connected by the Infinity Stones and they're a culmination of all the battles and the, the battles they've had with the stones with evil Thanos. Feige elaborate on why the up-and-coming Endgame is the proper place to close the door on its first saga. We wanted to bring a conclusion to a series of movies in a way that has never been done before. Harry Potter had an ending because there are only so many books. Lord of the Rings too, but we thought 22 movies in? Wouldn't it be fun to bring some finale, a finish, a penultimate end to the storyline that has been set in place from the very first Marvel movie till now. So it's not the end of Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's just the end of this saga, the Infinity Saga. I presume that's why Kevin Feige has been saying for such a long time that everything is going to be different when it comes to the next phase. And it probably isn't going to be called Phase 4 now because they've called this whole phase the Infinity Saga. So the Empire magazine, like I said, goes on sale on Thursday. You can pre-order it, but it's interesting here because it's got some brief comments so according to co-writer of avengers infinity war and obviously avengers endgame very early in the process the snap wasn't set to happen until the second film we had so much story in those early drafts of infinity war that if anything we thought we maybe shouldn't do the snap until the end of the first act of avengers endgame he said uh personally i think that would have been pretty boring because then you would have act two and act three in the promotion movie in phase three to wrap everything up and maybe reverse snap i don't really think that would have been a good thing to do but for mcu's head honcho kevin feige the snap wasn't just the end of infinity war it was the ending he wanted to build to for such a long time we talked about the ending for years and years he told empire magazine it wasn't the reason to adapt infinity gauntlet what was the most shocking thing we could do end the movie with the snap exactly i agree with feige because what else could have they done to have more of a dramatic impact just imagine the amount of people who cried when spider-man started to say i don't feel so well tony stark or something along them lines that was the most dramatic way you could end a marvel movie if that happens one third 33 percent into avengers endgame it wouldn't have really had as dramatic effect of course the snap left some of the avengers alive and it was no accident that the core avengers the original team and their earliest allies were amongst them that would not snap after all the infinity saga has to give these characters the ones who probably won't stick around for phase four a final farewell captain america dies confirmed tony stark dies confirmed thor dies confirmed hulk dies confirmed literally every original avenger dies confirmed no it's not really confirmed but what they're essentially saying is the avengers endgame story isn't going to be about captain marvel it's actually going to be about the original avengers just like we said so introducing captain marvel isn't really going to be an issue because she's not even going to be the vocal point people would point out that cap wasn't in infinity war a whole lot and Iron Man didn't really speak for the last half an hour because of what was going on. But those characters in all of the original six are very much the focus of Endgame in a very personal and emotional way. Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel are the new heroes who will dominate the next phase. So forgive Marvel for sidelining them for the moment. This may be our final chance to hang with Cap. 
Tony, Thor, and Hulk. So you have it in an exclusive interview. Iron Man dies. Confer no, not really. But what they are saying is these characters will be sidelined. Now, obviously, there are rumors going around that, the, that Tiger Watigi will be directing another Thor movie. But essentially, even if that happens, even if Tony Stark gets cameo roles and kind of, I guess you could say, replaces the cameo role position, but that can never be replaced by anyone. It's essentially saying these characters will be sidelining. And as for the Hulk, well, the Universal deal is pretty much over. Now, I've been sent a bunch of articles about conspiracy theories of Hulk dying. No, they had a three-part deal. They weren't allowed to actually do a Hulk standalone movie. So they essentially did a Hulk standalone movie through Thor 3, Avengers 3, and Avengers 4. So that is interesting. And also, if you go back to Kevin Feige's comments when speaking to Screen Rant, he said this. I think as with some of the characters you've mentioned, there are no characters, certainly no Marvel characters, that are invulnerable and that are immortal. They all can be killed at some point, as Loki says to Thor in Avengers 1. So just like I keep saying, no one is invincible. Obviously, they're not going to kill off any of the characters going forward because we know we've got spider-man far from home kicking off it in july we know we've got black panther 2 we know we've got doctor strange 2 and obviously captain marvel 2 at some point and realistically they're the only characters that are realistically safe yes we do have the black widow movie coming out pretty soon within the next two years ish but that is set during the y2k bug during the early 2000s so realistically that is not going to affect if black widow does stay around so also avengers endgame directors the russo bros have admittedly said they are committed to real stakes in the up and coming movie speaking with empire magazine back in february's issue Anthony said one thing that has always been very important for Joe and I is real commitment to stakes and to consequences. We have the same commitment to the stakes being real, things costing characters in a real way. And we asked if fans should bring their hankies, he teased, I will be bringing one. So guys, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. We are sadly going to lose some Avengers. I'd love to know down below, guys, who is going to die. I think probably two weeks before the movie comes out, I will be doing a prediction video of who will be seeing their dust for good. Who will be actually killed off during this movie. It's a hard one. It's a really hard one to call because obviously Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is back properly now. Now James Gunn is back directing. But if you look at all the recent reports, he was never officially fired. Because no one was ever going to replace him. So you could look at it that way thinking, oh, Gamora was sacrificed. But you can't really do Volume 3 without Gamora. So, and now Dave Bautista will be back on board. Now James Gunn's back in the Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It is really hard to predict who is going to die. Now, obviously, the most common theory that we've spoken about multiple times. And I don't really want Tony Stark to die. But now you've got all these added comments that no one is safe. No one is immortal. I can quite possibly see Captain America dying because he's like, you want to jump off that train before you're pushed. We know he's doing Broadway. He's doing other projects. He wants to get into directing. It doesn't mean he can't be involved with the Disney streaming service stuff because that is concurrent and that, that is kind of, um, it is canon to the MCU and it will be part of phase for that it's currently cool but it probably won't be called that so i wouldn't be surprised if captain america and tony stark both die they'd be pretty uh stupid to kill thor off because thor's had a complete reboot there's so much thor stuff to go through that they could add hulk they shouldn't really kill hulk off because we've not really seen that much of hulk we know we will be getting professor hulk during this storyline uh, it's basically unofficially officially confirmed because we've seen official avengers endgame merch official end game promotional material yet yeah, they don't show you him in the white suit in the second trailer which i understand they want to keep that moment for the movie obviously but it is interesting that kevin feige's literally said yeah no one's safe everyone's gonna die or everyone could die and i think it's gonna be very interesting come the 21st which is this coming thursday um, I will be doing a breakdown of the Empire Magazine exclusive article. I believe it's like a behind the scenes look at Endgame. Uh, I know they've got exclusivity to it. And obviously, there could still be another Avengers Endgame trailer because 
They realistically always drop a trailer saying Avengers Endgame out now. But realistically, guys, if you do want to watch this opening weekend, as soon as tickets are available in your country, I've been told by numerous people that have already ordered the tickets, you're going to have to order them instantly or else you are going to be waiting a long time to watch this movie. This movie is going to break every single record under the sun, maybe. I don't know, 2.8 with Avatar, I believe it is, is really hard. Don't quote me, I'm... I'm freestyle in this video i'm pretty sure avatar did 2.8 billion so that would be a hard number to beat they're definitely going to smash 2 billion but is this movie actually going to break the box office record i don't know so guys let me know who is going to die in this movie let me know down below i will be doing a prediction video and i just want to know what you guys are thinking who do you want to die who do you not want to die? Obviously, they are introducing lots of new characters in Phase 4. Literally, what day is it today? It's currently the 19th. So tomorrow, they will have the Fox properties back. They will have the X-Men. They will have Fantastic Four. They will have Deadpool. They will have the Simpsons. Simpsons in Avengers confirmed. Well, in theory, it could happen. So there's a lot of new characters they could introduce or going to introduce. Magneto, Reed Richards... The whole Fantastic Four crew, Doctor Doom, Gal there's so much more they can do. So they don't really need to keep a lot of the OG characters around. Although I really would love them to keep Hawkeye around, Black Widow and Tony. Um, I mean, the rest I'm good to go, but just keep them guys around for me. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.